Uh, hey everybody, this is Charles Warner with Innovation and Tech Today. We're here at CES 2019 and I'm very privileged to be joined by Terry Berland with Violet Defense. How you doing, Terry? Very good. All Very right, good. Uh, Terry, tell us what's going on with uh, Violet Defense. What are you uh, doing here at CES and what can we maybe look forward to? Well, so Violet Defense, just so that everybody knows, is a germ technology company that specializes in using ultraviolet technology uh, with a specialized lens okay. to kill germs. All right. Um, hospitals have been using it for probably the last 20 years. Uh, ultraviolet's been used since the 1800s in France for cleaning water. But ah. they've never been able to make it small, uh, so they can't make it cost effective. Okay. And they can't make it so that from an energy perspective, you could use it in a standard home. So um, is this a technology, like like ultraviolet's been around a long time, right? Since the beginning of time, actually. Wow. It comes from the sun. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> So, but um, how come people haven't tried using this application? Was it because of the size? Is that the... Well, the original introduction of it, yeah. um, it was actually pretty well used. In fact, if you go back to the World War II, uh -huh. uh, you'll actually see ultraviolet devices used by the Army uh, for germ protection uh, during the war. Okay. Uh, but then we developed this thing called antibiotics. And so then it became a whole lot easier to just deal with you after you got the germs than it was to try to protect the spaces. Uh, uh, what nobody knew at the point in time that we created antibiotics was that it would generate this whole generation of superbugs right. uh, that are now antibiotic resistant. And so you're starting to see ultraviolet come back as a technology because unlike chemicals and unlike uh, pharmaceuticals, yeah. there is no resistance from a germ to ultraviolet. It's a photonic action. Uh, much like uh, people have never developed a resistance to bullets, yeah, uh, germs have never developed a resistance to ultraviolet. So you don't have the unintended consequences that you do with, you know, antibiotics. Yeah, and with stuff. pharmaceuticals or with chemicals. Yeah, yeah. Not just to mention the superbugs, but also the uh, um, the antibiotics. They're going into the the water yes. and yeah. Yeah, not great for the environment, and even take the antibiotics, but just the chemical side of it. So yeah. One of the biggest advantages of our technology is that you don't expose the people who are doing cleaning to those caustic chemicals. Uh -huh. And there's a set of studies that were just done in Europe about two, three years ago uh, that show that people who are cleaning as yeah. their job, after a 20 year period of time, their lungs are as um, basically corrupted as if they were a two pack a day uh, cigarette smoker. Wow. So we're big on not only protecting you from germs, but also doing it in a way that's chemical free. So definitely it's got applications of sustainability. Tremendous. That, uh, that's pretty big right now. Yes, absolutely. Um, so what other applications is there for this technology? I mean, obviously, first thing comes to mind, schools, hospitals, um, what, I mean, is it is it limitless? Well, so we describe it as basically taking clinical level cleaning into uh -huh. everyday spaces. Wow. So when we mean everyday spaces, we literally mean every space, yeah. daycare, yeah. School, your public gym. Public transportation. Uh, your public transportation. Yeah. Uh, every common bathroom that's in here. So we, for example, have a school in Orlando called the Jewish Academy of Orlando that is now the first fully protected school in the country that has Violet Defense product in their classrooms, in their bathrooms, in their common rooms, in their tech spaces. Wow. Um, and it runs overnight. Okay. Um, if we wanted it to run all during the day, we also have motion detection for safety purposes. Okay. Uh, but we just have it run overnight, and it does an automatic clean. No people involved. So all the safety costs or the personnel costs go down. And from a safety perspective, nobody's there at 1 o'clock. Uh, wow. So we have no issues with exposure. So this is an extremely big benefit for people that would have uh, compromised immune systems. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why the hospital side of it has been going on for a while. And you see a number of big technology companies that have started to invest in there. The problem is an average hospital unit costs yeah. between $75,000 and $125,000 a piece. Wow. Right. Ours are measured in hundreds and thousands. Yeah. Uh, so our whole room unit, um, you know, is $5,000. Listen, um, I really enjoyed uh, chatting with you. I hope you have a great CES and we look forward to hearing more from your company and we'll have you in uh, Innovation and Tech today and hopefully we'll see you at some more great events. Uh, we will. Thank awesome. Hey, thank real you. Pleasure.